Hey, how's it hanging guys? It is Eric here, and I'm not sure if this was ever officially solved, but was the object in Purple Guy's hand ever officially revealed? I honestly couldn't remember. But what I'm about to say may change everything in what just may be my biggest FNAF theory ever. And before we talk about this, I highly recommend you check out one of my uh, previous videos first, uh, just to better understand things in the long run. Uh, so yeah, if you haven't already, uh, click the annotation above and pause the video. Alright, done? Let's go. So, if you recall from a previous speculation video of mine, you'd remember when I brightened up Scott's latest book teaser image, and inside the miniature Freddy's body, we found a few distorted shapes consisting of black squares and rectangles. But when you connect them together, you'll get a mysterious figure that looks like this. What if this was the object that Purple Guy had all along? If we take a look at both figures side by side, you'll certainly notice that they do resemble an extremely similar structure and shape. Scott also revealed that both the game and books universes will conjoin in some way. So, what if the Purple Guy jumped universes, you know, since they intertwine, and had various objects, and placed them inside animatronics? But still, we also don't know what the object is. And the most popular theories is it being a taser or a telephone, but I don't think I've ever seen a taser that long, and the telephone is much more believable. Since I've been doing a lot of connecting lately, you know, with the black shapes and the game book series, I'd like to make one last connection to help solve what Purple Guy's object is. So let's connect the lore to FNAF AR. In the game, you can purchase these devices called transponders, and what they do in the game is allow you to see all hostile animatronics on the map. And in real life, they receive radio signals and automatically transmits and alters it into a different signal. Kinda like in FNAF AR, where it alters the signal into an image and the location of the animatronic on your map. So, I have started to believe that the purple guy's object is a transponder. But you may be saying, well, okay Eric, but what kind of transponder even looks like that? And I hear you there. The more common transponders are not shaped like this. However, there is one class of transponders that however is shaped like this. And it is called a front mount exterior transponder, otherwise known as an FME. If you take a look at a front mount exterior transponder and this object, you'll notice that their shape is very similar. But there is one fact that throws me off, and that is that a front mount exterior transponder is recommended for large commercial vehicles such as trucks and RVs, so I'm gonna have to find another connection. Let's take the fact of how trucks are always on the move, much like these animatronics always moving. And just like in this teaser image, this FME transponder was hidden inside this miniature Freddy, possibly by the purple guy. And why do I think the purple guy put the transponder in the animatronic? Well, take a look at this minigame from Five Nights at Freddy's 2. As you can see, the purple guy is charging at Freddy to shove this transponder inside his suit. And what did we find in another version of Freddy? that same transponder. And who's not to say he did this to other animatronics like Chiga, Bonnie, and Foxy. But why would Purple Guy need to take the animatronics radio signals and alter them into a different type of signal? You know, now that I think about it, Mangle is the only one to physically admit a radio signal. This may all tie up with my glitch trap chain theory. In the game's universe, glitch trap is taking over people's minds through the VR game. And in the book's universe, some being of the Purple Man is taking control of animatronics, manipulating their radio signals. Like I said earlier, in FNAF AR, you alter the radio signals and turn it into an image location on the map. But perhaps in the book's lore, Purple Guy will use a different radio signal alteration. So to reiterate, Purple Guy's object might be a transponder, more specifically a front mount exterior transponder. 
some being of the purple man that might be controlling animatronics with the FME transponder. And there may be a transponder inside the miniature Freddy in Scott's latest teaser image. And again, who's not to say there's transponders in other animatronics as well? So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed that Five Nights at Freddy's theory video. And uh, honestly, I think it's probably my best and uh, definitely one of my favorites that I've done so far. And uh, obviously it's probably not true in any way, but I, I thought it would be interesting to connect all these things. Uh, it did take a long time to make uh, so I had to write down, not write down, but I had to type down all the points and all the facts and uh, connect the bubbles to each other and see which ones didn't connect and uh, did a lot of research and uh, put a lot of time into this and uh, I had to get rid of a lot of points, the, the, uh, <laughs> the, uh, how, you, how you'd say not as important facts, factoids. So yeah, if you guys enjoyed, why not leave a like to show me that you did. And if you want to see more videos from me, why not subscribe and you will not regret it. And if you want to be first to more Five Nights at Freddy's content, why not study that bell down there? And yeah, with all that been said, I hope to see you guys in my next video. Stay fresh.